Most of you know that I cut my hair early this year in January into this tapered cut and it's really short compared to my long hair, but it's actually not that short. It's this long. So looking at this, I'm sure it could fit into a ponytail or a puff or something. So let's see what we can do. I quickly hopped in the shower to co-wash and refresh my hair. I've already moisturized it with a leave-in and sealed with an oil. So now I'm just dabbing it dry with this t-shirt to lessen the dry time. I'm using the banding method to stretch my hair. So all you'll need is a whole bunch of hair ties to get started. Beginning with this section in the back, brush the hair through first to smooth it out and then begin wrapping the hair tie around it. As you're wrapping it around, you're going to be moving closer and closer towards the end. Once you finish one hair tie, you can brush the hair through to smooth it again and just place another one. Continue to do this until you've reached the end of the length of your hair. So make sure that your hair is really smooth when you do this to make sure it's getting the best stretch. Also, hold your hair taut as you're wrapping it around. Don't let it go. So when I brush it through, I'm still holding on to it, making sure it's stretched as much as possible. You don't have to do the hair ties all the way down to the end if you're looking to stretch a wash and go or something, you leave the ends curly. However, if you're doing this to trim your hair or to style it, you're going to do it all the way to the ends as I'm doing just to get the most stretch. Be careful with your edges because it can get a little tight so kind of make it a little loose at the root so that you're not killing your edges over stretched hair. This particular section could have been put into two but basically the smaller the section the more stretched the bigger the section a little less stretch you'll get. And also, this is a little different from the usual banding method that you might see. With other methods, you usually keep the hair tie in one spot and then just move down a little bit and add another one. I use one hair tie all the way down the length of the hair. This helps to save time and to save the amount of hair ties you have to use. And if you have longer hair, you'll be using more hair ties. I ended up using 21 hair ties on my hair. Once you've banded your whole head, you're just going to wait for them to dry. I believe I waited at least 12 hours. So once they were dry, I just began taking each hair tie off one at a time. The results should be stretched hair, much different from your usual shrinkage. So just continue to take all of the hair ties off and afterwards you can do what you want with your hair. You could trim it, you could style it. I had done this to trim my hair, but People wanted to see how I do it, so I did it again. And this time I decided I was going to try a braid out to see if I could get a nice stretch style. But as I expected, when I took the braid out down, the definition was great, but my hair is so awkwardly shaped when it's stretched because it was purposely cut to be worn in a wash and go or shrunken state. So I just decided to put it up into a puff again. So I spritz the perimeter of my head. I go ahead and put a little bit of oil on my hair also to keep it soft underneath the gel that I'm gonna apply. Once my hair is brushed back and smooth like how I want it, I'm gonna take the headband that's around my neck double it and push it over my head to create a puff. So now you all know how I was able to come from this tiny TWA to this fluffy puff. Try the stretch method out for yourself. It's a great way to stretch your hair as much as you can without heat and see what kind of styles you can get from it. Like and subscribe and thanks for watching.